Greetings. As the mayor of the city of Myanmar, it's been a very humbling and exciting experience. Leading our city is one of the most progressive, innovative, and safest cities in Florida. Over the past few months, I've literally been traveling the country bragging about the city of Myanmar, our amazing residents, and all of the accomplishments we've achieved together. Now, as an elected official, we have an opportunity to have many initiatives to impact our community. And I focus my initiatives on our youth and families, the business community, and the city's infrastructure. Annually, I have an Aviation Academy that's held in the summer along with the Aviation Expo that's held in December, also paired with the My Brother's Keepers program, which is a mentorship program that prepares our youth for high paying jobs, mentorship opportunities with businesses, or even start a business. I am just so happy with the relationship I have with Florida Vocational Institute and their tech launch program where we do a technology boot camp every summer. It's a free program for Miramar youth so that they can be exposed and learn technical skills and STEM skills in the areas of coding, networking, virtualization. These are all important tools and skills that will be needed in the gig economy. My next initiative is the Mayor Messam's Run Club. It is a great initiative for residents who want to stay fit, who want to run with other residents early in the morning so that you can get the best life that you deserve. Mayor Messam's Run Club, come join! As a small business owner myself, I know the importance of having a sustainable and strong economic development climate in a city. Over 90% of all businesses in Broward County are made up of small businesses. And with the results of the Myanmar Disparity Study, it has birthed the city's business inclusion and diversity program, which will lay the foundation to increase and foster business opportunities for minority and women owned businesses. A brand new initiative that I'm launching this year is the Mayor's Business Council. You know, we tout that Miramar has more Fortune 500 companies than any city in South Florida, and that's something we're very proud of. But I want to ensure that we remain that way for the next 20 and 40 years. The Mayor's Business Council will comprise of CEOs and executives from our large and medium-sized businesses as well as some of our small businesses located right here in the city of Miramar. This diversity of entrepreneurial and corporate intellect will be able to advise my office of important policy needs to ensure that our business community is being served. The Mayor's Business Council will be an excellent opportunity for our small business owners because they'll have an opportunity to provide issues that are relevant to them while being able to network with medium and large companies and perhaps can be their supply chain. Back in 2013, I received a lot of political heat for promoting and being the face of the 2013 revenue bond, which was a $60 million funding loan to address many strategic city construction and deferred maintenance projects. Because of that investment in the city, Miramar now enjoys the state-of-the-art brand new police headquarters providing the best in public safety to our residents, a covered amphitheater at Miramar Regional Park, an adult daycare center, citywide improvements to our parks including Monarch Lakes, Vizcaya, and the Shirley Bronca Bandshell in historic Miramar. Now as the mayor, it is important to me to see all of these projects come to a very successful completion. It is about the residents having venues and infrastructure that will support the needs of our city. I look forward to our continued journey. Take care and God bless Miramar.